Street boy has come to town. So I come in the whole hall, trying to stay, getting the law. Now it's supposed to be his what they have done. They took me in jail for having too much fun. Too much fun. That's the news to me. Too much fun. How could it be? There's a whole lot of things I never done. I never had too much fun. Show it away. Use that sunset back down the line. I like yours and she like mine. You guys know me to look at the sun. You can go to hell for having too much fun. Too much fun. That's news to me. Too much fun. How could it be? There was a whole lot of things I never done. I ain't never had too much fun. Ladies and gentlemen, Mark Everett. In, in, uh, it's our first, our first time in Italy. This is a long way from San Francisco, but not in spirit. The same idea that I had back then, the same thing is going true today. Uh, the idea is let's have a lot of fun, let's bring joy, spread joy to the maximum. That's my whole idea. I was teaching college, teaching art in college in Wisconsin, at the University of Wisconsin, when I had a phone call from San Francisco from my guitar player, Bill Kirchin who said that I had better get out there real quick. So I jumped in my van, this is June of 1969. I arrived in San Francisco, June 6th, 1969. I slept in my van for about three weeks. We found some money to get a little place to rent. Uh, we found a, a bass player and a, and a, a drummer in San Francisco. Uh, we started a band and by August of 1969, we were opening for the Grateful Dead, whose philosophy was basically the same as ours. We opened up for the Grateful Dead for about three or four years. We played all the clubs in San Francisco. And when it came time for me to go back to uh, the Midwest of America to teach again, I thrown him up and said, no way. Much fun. Too much fun. That's news to me. Too much fun. How could that be? There's a whole lot of things I never know. I ain't never had too much fun. 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 There's a whole lot of things I never know. I ain't never had too much fun. Too much fun. Too much fun. Too much fun. Too much fun And the whole other things I never done I never had too much fun I never did I probably never will Steve Barbudo
27, 1973. I was serving time for armed robbery. Three o'clock in the morning, I was sleeping in my cell. When I heard a whistle blow, and I heard somebody yell, Is it right going on? Is it right going on? Is it right going on? It's up in cell block number nine. All the trouble started down in cell block number four. Originally born in Idaho, I grew up uh, in the slums of Brooklyn, Queens, and Long Island. My father was an artist, my mother is an artist, I too am an artist. I do sculpture painting, cinematography, photography, I do it all. And I write music too, and in San Francisco I found that all of these things came together at the same time. And that's the beautiful thing about San Francisco, that's why I found a new home there, and I live there for the next 25 years and I finally moved back to New York, upstate New York, uh, Adirondacks Lakes, mountains, thoroughbred horses, and I live there today and we're still trying to do essentially the same thing as we always did, that is to say spread joy to the maximum. Well, the general mood in the U.S. right now is very tense, uh, and that's because uh, uh, a few people made a very bad mistake, and, and were uh, duped by a certain bunch of individuals who uh, got elected and came to the White House in the name of Jesus Christ and started killing people for absolutely no reason. Now, in New York and California, this is totally against what? we live and breathe for, but unfortunately in the rest of the United States, it's not that way. And there are a lot of very, very stupid people in the United States and they won the last two elections. And uh, we are doing every single thing that we can to turn that around again next time. So the mood in the United States right now is very, very tense between liberals and non-liberals, between almost proto-communists and Let's just call them uh, rednecks, okay? And and that comes up in the in the tenseness and stiffness of modern country and western music, and that's one of the reasons I don't play country anymore because modern country and western music indicates a political set, a political state of mind in the United States today that I do not want to identify with. But the blues, there's no politics in the blues. <laughs> Texas blues without talking about Texas. Now the only place in Texas that's worth going to is Austin, Texas. You, Mauro has been there, I've been there. Uh, Perry Day, who's brought us over here, has been there too. Austin, Texas is like an island in the midst of a very hostile sea. And we go down there three or four times a year. And, and, and from Texas, for instance, Deep Me Daddy, Ace of the Bar, my signature piano song is about a little honky-tonky village in Texas. And uh, where this guy named Freddie Slack who did the original Beat Me Daddy, it was actually fun. So Texas, even though it represents what it represents today, in musical terms, it represents the bass, blues, boogie-woogie, good feeling that uh, Bob Wills and everybody brought to the world back then, which is slowly disappearing, and uh, that we're trying to keep up and bring back to everybody, especially bring to the field at least, uh, so that we can come back again.
go over China and Mongolia too The people's never gave me a rare review The chairman, he's a gonna be an interview He gave me a piano made out of beer and bamboo I said, I love you, we just can't stay We got Chuck and Black in the USA We was rockin', rockin' over China, we were rockin' Rockin' over China, we were rollin' Rollin' over China, we were rockin' Thank you very much for having me in the country. I'm having the best time of my life.